so hungry. Hey everyone, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl, back for another episode of To The Right Thing with my pals, Jamie and Mikey. Hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. Very excited to be here because we happen to be recording this episode when I'm very hungry. <laughs> uh, do I always say that? I mean, that could go either way. It's either a really good thing or a really bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Like sometimes after we do these, like I try to be really careful about like, oh, I'll have a little bite of this and a little bite of that. And everyone's always like, well, how do you work there and run this company when all you do is eat all day? I'm like, well, you know, you have to just take little bites of everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's sometimes after the podcast, we're like, oh, I want to eat more of that and more of that. Anyway, um, today might be one of those days because I haven't really had breakfast. So I'm excited about the chewing that's about to happen. (laughs) Um, I know last week we had a Trader Joe's episode and the intention of this week was not to make this episode be totally Trader Joe's, but I have to say they are crushing it. Mm -hmm. They are crushing it in the way of fall foods and holiday foods in a way that nobody else can even sort of touch. It's insane because we've been searching and Trader Joe's is like, it's just been an onslaught. So guess what? What? It's another TJ's week. Yay! Yay. So this is a haul for the holidays. Well, it's really like a fall Mm -hmm. Halloween sort of enter all the pumpkin goodness. It's Mm -hmm. not quite, I think later on we'll probably have one that has more of like the chocolate peppermint and all of that stuff, the winter wonderland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is more like a fall haul, but it's going to be a great one. And I know like I insisted on bringing back some old favorites and then some newbies. So very excited. excited about that. So we know there's at least a few delicious things we'll be sampling today. Absolutely. <laughs> is there any I'm more looking at them. Gert? Because we're really about this is right in the smack of my Gert time. I, didn't we have like a thousand yogurts we last did. week or yeah. like two? We had two, yeah. That, and they were from Trader Joe's, so yeah, probably not. not. Okay. Oh, there's yogurt, something with yeah. a Gert ingredient. So. Oh, okay. oh, good. As long as I get some sort sort of Gert. For flavor, those that don't scent. know, Gert means yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't love that nickname, but I like, like, I won't say it, but I like when you say it, Mm -hmm. it's like cute when you say it. And when, if I say it, I'm like, Oh, it feels like some kind of bodily function. Maybe Gertie. (laughs) Gertie. We have a whole gang called the Gert gang in my, my group of friends. They're snobs. I don't think we're going to change it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the nerdiest thing I've ever heard. (laughs) And they're, they're total snobs. Yeah. They're yogurt snobs. Mm -hmm. They're like aficionados. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But before we jump into the chew in, what you got? All right, who's ready for some turkey and gravy soda? Yes, turkey and gravy soda. Jones Soda is bringing back this concoction of theirs that they first uh, did back in 2003. The soda is only available for a limited time, and they only made about 35,000 of them. So you got to run to the stores now to grab a six pack. Um, I would totally try this. Would you, Lisa? Well, wait a minute, because I still have some of the Jones collectible packs. Are you saying this is just turkey and gravy soda? Because usually it's like... One bottle is green bean casserole and one bottle is stuffing. They don't do that anymore. Um, you know, I don't know that information, but I, I, I know that they still have like the cranberry and all the other ones. So I think this might be a separate. So this is just a turkey gravy, gravy. soda situation. Yeah. And they haven't had it in, I guess, like over, what, 18 years or so. So. Oh, well, then. I never had it. Yeah. Because I'm not even 18 years old. So that would be impossible. (laughs) You're 17. I had it in my bottle. (laughs) Um, No, I would taste it. It's going to be disgusting. But I would try it. Yeah. All right. Um, Let's try to get some. I don't know if they're sold out yet. Hopefully not. But we could do this on our next uh, fall holiday haul. The the, the, the other one. It's a holiday. Haul. Happy holidays. Wow. (laughs) There's our there's our social media copy. There you go. All right, I got one more. Uh, Kellogg's is releasing a new Elf on the Shelf cereal. Now, they already have the sugar cookie and the candy cane flavors, which I think we tried in like last year at this time. Um, And now you can get the hot cocoa. So it looks like this one's only sold at Walmart. So you got to go to Walmart and grab it. But the other two are also available nationwide. So you can still get the other two anywhere you want. But if you want to get this hot cocoa one, got to go to Walmart. But sounds good. Hot cocoa. It's probably going to be like Cocoa uh, Crisp or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, whatever. I love trying all the cereal collaborations and new iterations. And they're just not as good as they were when we were growing up. I don't know why, but I'll try it. Yeah, me too. I wonder if they're going to come out with a Hanukkah one. What's the Hanukkah one? The Dreidels. Mench on a bench. Mench on a bench bench. cereal. (laughs) Like maybe it'll be like maybe uh, it'll be blue and white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there'll be little marshmallow dreidels. Oh, so good, so cute. 
All right. Are we ready to chew? Yeah. Chew, chew, chew. Chew, chew, chew. Okay, we're starting, well, this is appropriate. With This is a pancake and waffle mix. That's mm. a shelf-stable mix. So it's a pumpkin, it's TJ's, Trader Joe's pumpkin, pancake, and waffle mix. And so we're not just tasting the mix, we're tasting the pumpkin, the pancakes that were made by Aaron. Someone would have failed if it was just a pile of powder. <laughs> Go ahead, have at it. Don't put it past us. Could okay, you imagine? So we've we're just, got, can we, someone pass me a plate? Yeah. I'm just going to grab, I'm going to throw this on here. So this is nice. It gives us directions for pancakes, you. directions for waffles. We have pancaked it. Mm-hmm. And we prepared ours with two teaspoons of light butter, a quarter cup of almond milk, and three tablespoons of egg whites, only added 62 calories and four grams of fat. And I'll get into the rest of the stats in a sec. Okay. And they probably recommend that you do it with like more of everything or oil, maybe? Butter, milk, egg. And there's some maple syrup over there you if want anybody some wants. Syrup? Um, it depends on the sweetener in there. This is really yummy. Mm-hmm. That's great. I would make this into a muffin. Oh, oh good idea. Fluffy. Mm. So fluffy. And it doesn't like, again, this is going to be a theme with me. Like I'm very sensitive to overly clovey pumpkin items. This is not. It's like very subtly pumpkin, mm-hmm. but pumpkin enough. It's really great. Yeah. Like might be my favorite pumpkin pancake mix wow. I've ever tried. And it really doesn't need maple. Like I didn't do maple syrup. It doesn't need it. Mm-hmm. It's perfectly sweet without it. I know. You know what I would like to put on here? I'm going to save this. And we have another item that we're trying later. Oh, I'm going to That's going to be really good. Okay. So did we get, we got three nicely sized pancakes out of this, I believe. I think four. Four. Well, yeah, quite a bit. So the mix itself has 160 calories, no fat and six smart points. According to the box, if you follow their directions, 290 calories and 12 grams of fat. But mm-hmm. with our little light butter, almond milk, egg whites hack, it only adds 62 calories. So what? We have to put that hack on our page, on our food cast page. Cool. Don't we? We do. All right. Then we shall. All right. Moving on to the next fallicious item. We have Trader Joe's butternut squash, mac and cheese, which this I have to tell you, people fight in the aisles of Trader Joe's over this. This is a frozen tray. It's a two serving tray of butternut squash, mac and cheese. And like the pasta in it, they're like little short fat rigatonis. Mm -hmm. And the sauce is like very cheesy and butternut squashy. We've tried this before. Mm. We just had to share. Because every time you're there, either people are commenting on it, grabbing it. The people that work at Trader Joe's are ooing and aahing over it. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's incredible. So let's dig in. All right. I went to Trader Joe's at night for the first time in a very long time, like a few nights ago. Mm-hmm. And there was one of those left. I couldn't I believe it. three. Well, I didn't take it, but there was just one. When you see one like that, you kind of have to take it. I guess I should have taken it. Yeah. You could always sell it. I bet you could sell it like, I don't know. That sounds a little weird. What do, wait, what, what <laughs> do you like? Market. Facebook marketplace. E-book. Jamie, isn't that what you like? Lo- didn't you do like oh, a Facebook marketplace? The thing weirdest of- finds that you could find. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite was, you remember Maria Kondo, like the art of de-stashing and like getting rid of stuff you don't love. Mm-hmm. So my favorite was someone that put that book up on Facebook marketplace. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> she That's wrote a book great. about getting rid well, of stuff that bringing, doesn't bring you joy. <laughs> it's not bringing her joy. Where are the, her name is Marie, right? Marie. Oh, yeah. Silverware. Okay. Oh. Mm. It's the best. They should it's bottle the that sauce. It's just mm. the texture. I don't know how they do it. Like craft blue box mac and cheese should be horrified. Yeah. Ah. Are you like me, where the the best piece is the one that has like all that extra parmesan? See that? Like it's all clumped together. All right. To me, the best piece is the one that has like all the cheese stuck in the middle of the tube. Mm. This is like the brownie debate. Do you like edges or center pieces? Center. Ed- edges. This makes perfect sense. Right. Yeah. Because it's like mushy and gooey. Mm-hmm. No, I don't like the edges. That's why I thought the edge pan was like, are you being punked? <laughs> Getting an edge pan. I mean, no, I get it, but it's well, not for me. Kudos to the person that invents the center pan. <laughs> this oh, is so good. Wait, good. So wait, do we have do we have everything we need on this? Oh, let's just on? give the stats. It's okay. like one cup, two hundred and fifty calories, eight grams of fat, eleven grams of protein, eight smart points. Worth it. All right, I'm going to tell you my hack for this. This is what I do because I'm not a big mac and cheese person, and I, my like I want to eat the whole tray, but I won't eat five hundred calories worth. So mm-hmm. I take that whole tray, I put it in a big bowl, I add some cooked chopped broccoli. 
and sometimes some shrimp, sometimes chicken. Mm. I just bulk that up and I turn it into three servings. Uh-oh. And it's Is it amazing. saucy enough? Would you add like a little cream cheese or laughing cow? To. No, you don't need to. If you really, really wanted to bulk it up, you could keep adding more yeah. veg and a little bunch of laughing cow. Who I go? I'll take up your whole house. <laughs> but um, you know, you can do a lot with it. You can play with it and grow it, expand it. Cool. All right. Next up, we have Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese spread. It's in the fridge section. And it's, um, I think it's a favorite of ours Mm -hmm. from yesteryear. Um, Got it. So this is a cream cheese spread that's pumpkin flavored. And it's pumpkin, not pumpkin spice, right? Because there is a difference. Interesting. I guess in theory there is a difference, but who even knows what that difference is? Well, I think it's usually less, (laughs) stating the obvious, spiced, uh, but less clove. It's like a softer. Yeah, but pumpkin doesn't have a lot of, I mean, Mm -hmm. a lot of flavor. So the thing that makes it pumpkin-y is the spice. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting, I don't think I'm putting anything on it. You're going to, oh, I thought you were going to put that on Well, I, but you can do that after. Like to get the full flavor to describe. (laughs) Right, right, right. Oh, this is the spoon. You can keep it. For the fork. Two t- tablespoons, 70 calories, five grams of fat, three smart points. But it's so thick. I've, and like, I feel like a tablespoon would go plenty far. Plenty. It's so, I'm going to put it on this little edge of the pancake. It's so That's what I was, good. It is because it's very mild. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's spiced, but not overly spiced. It's delicious. I honestly think this might be the best flavored cream cheese of all time. I agree. It's- I agree with you. I'm not a flavored cream cheese person. Maybe, really? Maybe the Gert gang will splinter into another text conversation about mm. cream cheese if you brought up cream cheese would they kick you out um well i think i'm the leader of it so there would be like a coup attempt but um no i don't think so mikey so one of them is getting married this weekend maybe we should get her like a whole bunch of yogurt as a wedding gift <laughs> that would be the worst wedding gift no ever. we should totally i mean we'll get her like a real gift but also <gasps> get her like a gift card to like Chobani or something. I've got it. <laughs> we empty out a yogurt container and put like the the money in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's cute. Make sure you really empty yeah, it. Yeah, really clean it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay, next up we have pumpkin four cheese Greek style yogurt dip. Oh, that's Yay. almost like a gurt. <laughs> sort of a gurt. So this is a savory, creamy pumpkin dip. With shredded Monterey Jack and sharp cheddar cheese, cream cheese, and parm. I guess this would be good hot or cold. I didn't realize, at first I was thinking, is this a sweet dip or a savory dip? But it's definitely savory. And what are you going to have it on, a carrot? Um, Yeah, I think the carrot will work. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen this. Is this a new product this year? It might be. It's definitely new to us. Yeah, I've never seen this. I like before. savory pumpkin. I remember back in the day we had actually like a savory pumpkin pasta like a creamy pasta mm-hmm. mm. so weird four cheese wow. i wouldn't expect that i have to tell you like i would i would cook this into like veggie noodles or something it's really i'm gonna it's very cheesy it's not again overly flavored it's not overly salty it's mild and creamy how many calories is it two tablespoons 60 calories four grams of fat two smart points for two whole tablespoons i have to have it without the carrot because the carrot kind of overpowered it I actually think this is a little polarizing. I like it, but I don't think it's for everyone. It's really? not from mm-hmm. I don't. so mildly flavored, though. I guess as long as you love pumpkin, it's it's unusual to me. I don't I don't get that at all because mm. I feel like I taste the cheese. I taste it being mild, um, but I just think it. I feel like it seems like it'll do a lot. Like you could put it on vegetables. You could put it on. Something Jamie's not into it. I don't. Just not. I, I feel like it would be better without the pumpkin. Like I love creamy, cheesy sauces. I mean, you know, like dips. I think it's good. I'd be interested to know what people think about it. I don't get a lot of pumpkin from mm-hmm. it, like yeah. you, Mike. But I just think it's sort of innocuous. It's yeah. not trying to be anything. It's not bad. It's good. I mean, I would totally eat that whole thing right now. <laughs> but I, I, I associate pumpkin with sweet, so that's probably why mm-hmm. I don't. Um, well, that could be part of it because everyone's so used to, oh, it's pumpkin and it's creamy. It's going to be spicy and sweet and cinnamony. No, that's not what this is, but it is cheesy. Anyway, um, I don't know what the intended use is. It's a spread, mm-hmm. but you spread it on things, I guess, crackers. Okay, another pumpkin item coming up now. Pumpkin spice hummus. Ooh. Now, this one's going to be sweet, right? This is. A I hope so. I think that's a dessert hummus. And this, that would be good on the pancake. Ooh, I got to get another pancake. This is my most anticipated item here. 
So I'm really excited for this. Really? What are you expecting? What do you expect of this, Mike? Well, I like dessert hummus a lot. So I'm expecting this to be very sweet, but not overly sweet. Okay. I think it's going to taste like spoonable pumpkin pie. Oh, wow. I think that's that would be my expectation with with some texture because mm-hmm. of the yeah, like thicker pie. version, like a pumpkin pie dip, which mm-hmm. I guess it is. That's exactly what it is, I guess. Can, we, can you hand me another pancake? Hmm. I'm gonna put it on a piece of pancake. Can I'm I first it this to you? Sure. This is gonna be so good on the pancake. Oh, see, that's pumpkin spice. Mm. Mike, their head's gonna fall off. It's really good on the pancake. Oh wow! Make Try fun. it on the pancake. Okay. It's perfect. It's like they were made for each other. This is like a marriage. Mm. I love dessert hummuses with fruit. I feel like if you're somebody that wants to snack healthier, but you're like, fruit and veggies are boring. Mm -hmm. Dips are where it's at. That's amazing. Amazing. I would like, I could imagine that with marshmallow too, for some reason. Like on graham crackers. Fluff too. Or like little mini ones or just the flavor is great. A graham cracker. Oh yeah. Both of those ideas spread with fluff and then topped with that. Or to your point, spread with that and then topped with mini mallows. I love it. Mini mallow. What are you that familiar with them? You call them mallows. (laughs) Mallows and Gert. Yeah. You guys have nicknames for all your food. Sure do. LL. Are mini mallows mini marshmallows? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause I'm thinking like mallow Is that what they're called? Mallow Mallomars. My dad's favorite cookie. (laughs) They are yummy. All right, um, to, and we did talk about the smart points and all that fun stuff. 70 calories, two and a half grams of fat, three smart points, and that is for two tablespoons. Not bad at all, really. Okay, next up, this is an item I cheated. I bought this last week, and I don't, I don't, I mean, should I tell you about it? Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> this is apple cider fruit spread. So it's like, I don't know if it's new or not. I think Erin was like rolling her eyes at me that I thought it was new. It's probably been around for a hundred years, but mm-hmm. it's like... Apple cider flavored jelly. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. It's new to me. I've never seen it before. It's a very pretty glass jar. I think it's going to be good on the pancake. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? This pancake's lasting forever. <laughs> I like that we're venturing from pumpkin into other seasonal flavors. Me too. I love apple. Oh. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. Uh, I was able to open that myself without calling in the National Guard. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Okay. That's for you. Don't cut yourself with the knife. Has anyone ever cut themselves with a butter knife? I bet, of course. <laughs> For sure. I bet people have been stabbed with butter knives. Actually, mm. my brother was stabbed with a butter knife. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got to change that subject. I'm eating this on the pancake. First of all, I want to tell you what I did at home mm. with it. I bought the Trader Joe's Light Brie and their crackers that had seeds and used the Light Brie and this cider on those crackers to die for. I love that there's like little pieces of apple in it. Mm-hmm. That's excellent. Love it. Like, remember apple butter? Apple butter is so underrated. It's delicious. Apple butter, it's it's so thin. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like applesauce. Yeah. I, yeah, I, apple butter is good, but this is like chunks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I miss the chunks in the apple butter. This is apple jelly, which they should have all year. I don't know why. Why is apple not a flavor of jelly yeah. that's common? Yeah. It would be so good on a well-toasted, remember we tried like cinnamon it was some type of special cinnamon english mm-hmm. muffin what was it because it wasn't just cinnamon it was like a double cinnamon or it was a new thomas like cinnamon toast or yeah. c- something. cinnamon something cinnamon special roll. yeah that would be great you're yeah. right so yum 30 calories for one tablespoon no fat two smart points worth it what's next what's next all right what's next this is just, this is such a fun i'm like a child because i saw this and i got i just went batty no mm. pun intended ah. This is the Ghosts and Bats Crispy Potato Snacks. Oh. It's a bag of potato snacks that is shelf stable. Um, and Jamie, do you want to grab those and you, or just pull the cart towards you because everything is on there. So they're not pumpkin potato no. chips. They're just p- potato chips in bat shape. Yeah, bats and ghosts in like potato but it's not a chip. It's a crisp. You'll see. Mm-hmm. I love Open that there's it. a little window into the package. <laughs> oh, I know. Wow. It's like a little haunted house and yeah. you see the ghosts peering out. Ooh, they're so thin. Yeah. And holy. And you'll be too because of how low in calories they are. No, they, they, I think the stats are pretty impressive. I want to, maybe I shake pictures of these. We should put some pictures yeah. of these on the Yeah. This is thing. 30 chips which is an ounce for 130 calories, six grams of fat, four okay. smart points. I love how little they how are. How cute the ghost is. So thin. And they're not greasy. Not at all. They're, for me, like, amazing. But some people might think they're boring. They're a little plain. Are they baked? They have to be. Mm. They taste baked. 
not fried. Like, I would think some people might find them boring, mm. but I find them very exciting. Can I read scary. you the back of the bag? Mm-hmm. There once was a house in a, house in a forest dark where ghosts and bats upon a lark happened on to potato crisps and commenced munching forthwith. There's more, but I'm going to stop there. You have to get the bag to hear the rest of the poem. I think the same person who writes the fearless flyer Mm -hmm. wrote that copy. Yeah. I love those. Me too. I feel like they're safe because I wouldn't eat the whole bag. Like they're delicious and I like them and I'd probably eat them with that cheesy pumpkin dip, but maybe minus the pumpkin. I wonder who writes the fearless uh, flyer. Like I would love to know who that person is. And if it's been the same person from the very beginning or her name is Natalie. (laughs) No. And I would about these, like I'm such a purist with chips that I don't like putting anything on them. Mm. If I did, I probably would eat fewer because I would eat the whole bag. Really? In one sitting. I like how it reminds me it's kind of Pringle like, but with less salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. 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 All right. Next up, we have another bagged snack. This is a maple and sea salt kettle corn, which... Looks exciting if you like kettle corn, like most people do. Here, let's let me open that bag. <laughs> Sorry, so I was. I'm, Jamie's about to tear it. Up I was again. I try to open it. I was I try to, by the back of the bag. I try to open it this way so we can take pretty pictures of it. Yeah, I just tore into the last <laughs> she one. She really did. The whole thing was like, hold on, it's okay. If we take ugly pictures, we'll know why. Look, that's look at that. Wait, my plate. Everything's like one color. Mm-hmm. It's all the color of pumpkin. Very color coordinated, very feng shui. I don't know. Mmm, gluten free. Oh, that's excellent. That's really excellent. Whoa, that wow, smells I love it. Amazing. Mmm. Wow. Mm. It fell into the cheese dip, and I bet it's still good. But <laughs> you get a cup and a half for 150 calories, seven grams of fat, seven smart points. Would it be crazy to pop a bag of like the 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 100 calorie bags of like kettle corn and then mix it with that so you can get like a bigger serving. Yeah, and it wouldn't be as probably as sweet. Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah, but yeah. the kettle corn's still good. I think this is like crispier. It's got like a little coating on it. It definitely is better than microwave popcorn, but maybe mix them if you want to eat a ton of it. Yeah, I mean, add calories. styrofoam too if you yeah, really want to. Totally. Yeah. Just kidding. Don't do that at home, people. All right, next up, there's another snack. Are you ready? Yep. This is a dry roasted maple almond. Well, that's I love the maple. I like that they're leaning into other fall flavors and mm-hmm. not just pumpkin. There's maple, there's apple. And maple, I think you can put maple on pretty much anything. Like literally, like mm-hmm. even like meats. Me too. I agree with you. I it's, like that it uh, has its own resealable bag so we don't have to worry about me destroying it. Well, and by the way, so you don't have to worry about, like, once you seal it, you're like, I won't eat any more. Because mm-hmm. huh? you can't open it. They smell really mapley. Yeah, like very maple syrupy, not just maple flavor. Mm-hmm. They're good. It's very mildly maple. Mm-hmm. It's not really sweet at all. It's not sugary. That's I'm nice. Yeah. It's like a hug of maple. Yeah. yeah. And it's, like you said, it's not, e- even though it's it's definitely got sugar happening, it's not crazy. It's only five grams of sugar. So you get a quarter cup for 180 calories, 14 grams of fat, six smart points. Mm -hmm. I would just eat like a few of those at a time, too. I'm not necessarily a sit down and eat an ounce of nuts person, but I feel like I would, you know, munch on them throughout the day. You know, I really like these because I think they're not so sweet that you can't put them on a salad. Like Mm -hmm. they would be good with foods. Mm. Yum. Cranberries on that salad. Mm hmm. That's a good idea. Okay. Yet another pumpkin item. There's a lot of pumpkin here today. Wow. Oh, I saw these at the counter when I was paying the other day. So this is a pumpkin spice espresso bean. Little bag. They have them at the checkout counter. And they are chocolate covered espresso beans with a pumpkin spice blend. Hmm, interesting. I can't wait. I, I was going to pick up a bag and then I thought, uh, that's, that's, I shouldn't do it. Why? Because Flip a little. I don't eat just... One or two, I'll eat this whole bag. I think most people would. That's the problem with that bag. It feels like one serving, but it's two. Yeah. I predict Mike is going to flip over these. I could be wrong, but it tastes like a really great... <laughs> His face. Oh, my God. It tastes like a really great pumpkin spice latte. Oh, that, is, that is amazing. It tastes like the best pumpkin mm-hmm. spice latte you could ever order yeah. anywhere. It's wow. exactly what it tastes like. Wow, that is... So- can I take that bag home, please? <laughs> yes, absolutely. This is a... That's an unexpectedly... 
like executed perfectly yeah. item. I yeah. just wish because it's this little like doesn't reseal bag. I wish they came in like single serving because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I feel like it would be very hard not to eat all it's 360 two, calories. It? But it's two servings. Yeah. So I don't, I think that's a pretty big bag. Mm-hmm. I could totally is, yeah. eat. I'd probably get three or four servings out of that because wow. it's not the kind of thing I would shovel in mm-hmm. the same way like I do with chips. Yeah. And how much coffee is that equivalent to? Do we know? Because you, you're going to be wired if you eat that whole bag. True, yeah, is there true. caffeine? Has to be, right? Yeah, but I'm much. not sure of the answer to that. What I do know is that half a package has 180 calories, 10 grams of fat, nine smart points. Hmm, that's not bad. Mm-hmm. No. You're right. You could make that last. It just yeah. It's just the fact that you can't reseal it. I know so get that. your baggie ready. You're right. Bring your own BYOZ. Bring your own Ziploc. Zip <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, good. Another maple item is back. And I have not tried these. I think this is new. This is a mini maple flavored walnut biscotti. Yay. They're so pretty. So it's a walnut biscotti flavored like maple. They're tiny. Mm. They're cute. They have what, like 55 calories each for this? Mm. They're really cute. I'm just sniffing mm. at this. She is sniff, sniff, sniff. They're so pretty. And they had this like, before or is this a new thing? I don't know. But I like how that there's different design drizzles. Mm-hmm. Like uh-huh. one is drizzle, one is dots. Oh. But oh, that's I'm going to cool. sniff. Oh, they smell great. Like almost a little gingerbready. Yeah, you get two pieces for 110 calories. They smell like butter cookies, actually. Mm-hmm. Smell that. Oh, it smells buttery. I'm, I feel I'm sniffing it, so I'm like Bam Bam. <laughs> My puppy like sniffs everything. It's good. Yeah. There's like not a lot of flavor. There's no spice to it at all. I think if we dip this into the uh, hummus, the pumpkin hummus, it'll be amazing. This taste, I, I love it because it just tastes like, it tastes to me like a butter cookie biscotti mm-hmm. with a slight maple flavor, but mm. just like buttery, mm. right? Yeah. Like very, very mild, but delicious. Nobody wouldn't like that. Mm-hmm. Everybody love, would like that. Biscotti is such a good like coffee accompaniment. If you like dessert after dinner, but you don't want to like go nuts, one or two of those with coffee. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. nice. All right. And what's a serving again? Two pieces and they're minis, but they're a nice size. What would you... Give yeah, us a comparison. A thumb? Mm, well, a fat I took thumb. I, this would be a thumb, but I already took a little bite. This is a big thumb, and I took yeah. a little bite off of it. So it's like more like a pointer if you're mm-hmm. an average sized female. And two pieces, <laughs> 110 calories, four and a half grams of fat, five smart points. I mean, to have one of those for do people count half points, two and a half points. That'd no. be pretty great. Don't you round up? Or some people I bet round down. No, that's bad. That's bad <laughs> practice. <laughs> Oh, we have more cookies on the way? Oh, wow. These yeah. are petite pumpkin spice cookies. Oh. These might be a spicy version of that. I don't know. <laughs> Someone has clearly already gotten into these because there's so, like a closure. Wait, they're open? It. Yeah, but Erin let me know that a lot of the stuff might have appeared to have been open, and it's because she she didn't want us to struggle with opening these these items, so she already opened them. I struggled them. with three. She did not open a lot of them. I, okay. I stabbed one with a knife. I think she just ate these cookies. Let's find out. Nice try, Erin. <laughs> I'm sniffing these babies again like Bam Bam. Oh, frosting. Oh, they're and totally... Sprinkles. Wait, so you know how during Valentine's Day they have the heart-shaped mm-hmm. ones that are dipped in chocolate with the sprinkles? It's like a similar situation, but it's shaped like a pumpkin. Aw. They're like animal crackers. Like, there? but coated with like yeah. sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah. Like the zoo. Yeah. Don't they have coated zoo animals yeah, yeah, there? Yeah. It's like a yogurt coating or a chocolate coating. To me, it tastes like white chocolate, but yogurt also. Wow. This is good. Mm-hmm. What's it coated with? White chocolate? You talk about I me. love that everyone just passes. Wait, this is amazing. Yogurt. Yogurt coating. Yeah. It does not taste like gurt. No. <laughs> I said it. It worked. Yeah, see? Okay. <laughs> I'm converted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This You're is converted. Great. <laughs> this is great. I'm saving everything. Look, this is the this is my after. First of all, look at the color palette. It's so pretty. It's the exact. There's nothing on this plate that's not yeah. like similarly colored. What's that color? It's not orange. It's not. It's like a creamy, like a butterscotch. Yeah, yeah. butterscotch. Yeah, butterscotch. Four mm-hmm. of them. Four of them for 130 calories. Six grams of fat. Seven smart points. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like 30, the low 30s, 32 mm-hmm. point something calories each. Mm-hmm. That's totally worth it. Yeah. No, less even. Really? Mm-hmm. Like 20 something. Are we down to? Oh, no, no, you're right. 32.5. 30 yeah. <laughs> round down. Yeah, that's my up. thing. Yeah, she's <laughs> rounding down. They're, they're like one calorie each. Yeah. She passed the box over. Okay, our final item of the day. The mini hold the cone ice cream cones in pumpkin ginger. Can't believe it's pumpkin ginger. They really went out on a limb to just mm-hmm. yeah. lean into the ginger instead of pumpkin spice. But 
See, Aaron really wanted to help us by opening this box <laughs> too, right? <laughs> Hold on. These, these are famous. Like, everybody goes nuts over a whole mm-hmm. cone. And I have to say, for whatever reason, like, their freezer section in my Trader Joe's is always selling out of everything. Mm-hmm. I don't know how we're going to do this. Are we, all, are we each going to take a cone and just take a bite of it? Yep. I think it's the only way to do I it. I think so, too. Look how cute they are. I have to take pictures of these. These are the cutest things I've ever seen. It's so funny that a serving is three of them. Really? Yeah. So they're 86 calories each because you get three cones for 260, 12 grams of fat, and 12 smart points. Three is excessive. Yeah. I would eat one, maybe two. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wait. It has, there's like coating. It's mm-hmm. like dipped. Hold on. I don't remember these. We had these a few years ago, I think. I know because after we had them on the podcast, my grandma loves ice cream and she loves ginger, her two favorite things. I got them for her and like... She like put, bumped me to the top of the wheel. <laughs> How do you know? She actually told you that? Yeah. No, she didn't. Is she but. still alive? Mm-hmm. 94 years old. Bring her some more. Yeah, no kidding. she forgot. Yeah, how's her memory? <laughs> Aww. Eight mini gingery cones filled with pumpkin ice cream and white confectionery coating. Confectionery coating. That's great. I didn't get any cone though. Hold on. These are so great. Look, there's ice cream all the way down to the bottom. Oh. You never see that. I there's love a that little you, ice cream point. I love that you nibbled the bottom. Oh, no. <laughs> just to check. No, it, Wait, uh, it's topping at yeah. the bottom. Oh, to keep it from That's melting so all over the place. Smart. And actually, all, all the other ones that they have like this, the little mini ice cream cones, they all have that, like the chocolate one, the chocolate vanilla, the chocolate or vanilla. Actually, they have both. They have vanilla and chocolate ice cream with chocolate coating. They're all coated and they all have the thing they on the bottom? They all have the thing on the bottom, That's yeah. That's so smart. I didn't even realize they were coated. I guess I don't eat these on the regular because I should know that. They're yum. Do you wow. think it justifies ginger in the name? Yeah. Because it it's does. in the cone. I think it's the, the cone is gingery. It is. Oh, I thought it was the everything else. No, ginger. I mean I thought cone, it was everything. Ginger cone, pumpkin ice cream, white confectionery coating. Wow. Everything tastes like it has a nice mild ginger flavor. Mm-hmm. It doesn't taste overly and there's not a lot of clove, which I like. Mm-hmm. Well done, Trader Joe's. We expected nothing less. I have to take a picture of this plate because the plate, I mean, in case anyone is doubting my color coordination comments, it's a lot of alliteration. I'm going to take a picture of it. It's not beautiful, but whatever. Okay. Well, that was good. This was such a good haul. Yep. I feel great. I wish I could say I was full, but I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> All um, right, Lisa. I'm how ready. about, are you ready for your uh, haul ratings? I am. Your holiday ratings. Oh, yeah. Holiday <laughs> ratings. All right. First up, pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. We tried these as pancakes. I'm giving that a nine. I just loved them. They were fluffy. Love the texture. Totally thumbs up. And don't forget the Hungry Girl tip. Two teaspoons of light butter, quarter cup of almond milk, three tablespoons of egg whites. All right. Next, the returning favorite, butternut squash mac and cheese. I'm sorry, that's a 10. Why are you sorry? Because, I don't know, I'm not sorry. It's a 10. <laughs> How did you feel about the pumpkin cream cheese spread? That's a 9. We're off to a good start. Next, we tried the pumpkin four cheese Greek style yogurt dip. <sighs> if it weren't for one big naysayer at this table, I probably <laughs> would have given it a higher score, but you kept getting in my ear about that. I'm still giving it an 8 because wow. I did like it a lot. I liked it a lot. More than more than you did. Yeah. All right. Pumpkin spice hummus, which was like the dessert hummus. Mm, 8.5. All right. All right. Then we tried the apple cider fruit spread. 9.5. Wow. I love that. How about the goats and ghosts and bats? Wait, did you I try both goats. of them? <laughs> <laughs> did you try both of them to be fair? I tried both ghosts and bats. Okay. So the ghosts and bats crispy potato snacks. I love these. I'm embarrassed to say, like, I lo- I'm giving these a nine, even though I ca- I'm going to give these a nine, but saying most people would probably give them a 7.5 or like around there, right? Uh, yeah, I would say that. Yeah. yeah. I really liked them. Oh, good. I really did. Good. I and like that they, they weren't it. like too greasy and salty. They were just like, mm-hmm. they were very comforting. Maple and sea salt kettle corn was next. Uh, nine. Wow. Just amazing. Wow. Uh, staying on the maple theme, we tried the dry roasted maple almonds. Those were really good, but they're just like not like super special, but they can't, you know, I think I have to give them a 7.5. I knew you were going to say that. You did? Mm -hmm. Not everyone Mm -hmm. needs to be special to be loved. (laughs) Right, Mike? (laughs) Wow. What does that even mean? What's happening right now? 
I'm just playing. All right. Pumpkin <laughs> spice espresso beans. You know what? These are like, I'm giving these a nine. I think half of our audience, anyone that loves PSLs, is going to give this a 10 plus. Yeah, I would give it a 10 for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Mini maple flavored walnut biscotti. That's an 8.5. I love them, but I'm giving everything too many nines. All right, let's finish strong. We got two more. Petite pumpkin spice cookies. Oh, those are a 9.5. <laughs> They're amazing. Last up, yet I doubt least, mini hold the cone ice cream cones and pumpkin ginger. Nine. Yay. This is a this is crazy. This is like the person who sits next to you that gets all A's yeah. and every test <laughs> is over a 90 and you want to punch them in the yeah. head. That, that's Basically, all other podcast episodes need to cheat off of this one. <laughs> exactly. How many items do we have? Because I actually did a running count, so I'm going to divide it by whatever the item okay. is. I think I had 12. 1, but. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13? Okay. 13. So by 13. Wait, what did I do wrong here? Let's just say it was about, I would say... 8.75 is probably the average. Wait, how did I get this all wrong? Mikey, you'll play with it later. You know, Lisa's the math whiz on this podcast. <laughs> but I'm not fa- I'm not adding and I don't know what we have. <laughs> but I'm saying Jamie's right because Jamie's always right. All right. Um, if you like this podcast and you should, you should text Mike and tell us. Right? Yes. 805-380-8075. Should we do a contest? Yes. Me? I was just about to say, if you tell us what you tried from this podcast or... Anything that you've tried that's holiday-ish that you think we should try, basically share any news or information with us and you will have the chance to win something great. Yeah, excellent. Yep. I don't know what it is, but I trust you when you say it's great. We can't tell you what it is. (laughs) Because we don't know. (laughs) Well, we know. Kind of. No, so yeah, we'll give away some prizes. And if you also like the podcast, you should review the podcast. Um, Just go to Apple Podcasts and review or review wherever they accept reviews. Yeah. Anywhere you want to review it, you can review it. And if you don't get our daily emails, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you should. If you're listening to the podcast, you certainly should sign up. So go to hungry-girl.com and put your email address in there. We won't send anything else to you other than great content Monday through Friday. So that's that. Do it. Go. Please. Okay, we'll be back very soon, as in two weeks from now, with a new episode. So don't forget to tune in. Thank you so much. We love you. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.